if governance is what we really need, then how do I, as a marketeer and insight person, kind of interact with that? Mm. Well, actually, I think we have enormous agency to do that because that governance decision is all about what the future looks like. It's foresight. It's 2030. It's 2050. It's what do people want? How do we close the say-do gap? How do we really understand those tensions that people have? That's what we do. We are capable as insight people of creating that understanding, of taking it up and getting it heard and getting it listened to. There's a really good example at the end of the book. He talks about Brewdog, and he's the first to acknowledge that Brewdog is not a perfect industry. So whatever you think about Brewdog as a business, perfect business, whatever you think about it, hold that for a second. But one of the things he talks about was that at the outset, there was a governance decision. One of the governance decisions was we are going to divest part of our ownership. We're going to be a shared ownership model and our fans are going to own our business. That's a governance decision. Creating punks is a marketing and an insight decision. And it comes from insight going into the governance decision, going, actually, there's a real audience here of real people who love and are obsessed about kind of creating real you know, fandom for great beer and who are dissatisfied with what they have. It feeds into a governance decision. And what feeds out of a governance decision then goes into a marketing that kind of goes, well, anyone can do a, you know, a section 172 <laughs> section, obviously my favorite section of that act. I mean, you know, uh, anyone can make that decision, but how that decision then impacts people, how we frame it in a positive way that engages people, that makes it seem exciting and aspirational. That's what we do. That's our skills.